Winnie. I won't get caught. <laughs> so today I'm going to try something different. I'm going to do a voiceover instead of sitting in front of the camera and yapping for 20 minutes straight. I figured I would bring you all along on a day in the life while simultaneously offloading my thoughts via voiceover. So with that being said, hello, welcome, or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. The last time I made a long format video was in January, which is so crazy because it does not feel like it was that long ago, but time is flying. If you are new here, my name is Kimberly. I am a stay-at-home mom to my three daughters who are five, three, and one. So before I catch you guys up on our chaotic life, I wanted to ask you if you have any questions whatsoever, please leave them in the comments below or go over to my Instagram, which I will link in the description of this video. And I'm going to have a question box on my story over there. I want to film a Q&A since I have been on YouTube for a little bit over a year now and I have never done one. I also want to express that part of the reason why I have been hesitant to share some of the things that I'm going to today is because I really struggle to find balance regarding what to post. I feel like if you only share the good, you're labeled as fake and that your posts are only a highlight reel. But if you share the bad, you are labeled as a negative person or ungrateful. So when things started to get really overwhelming earlier this year, I didn't know what approach to take regarding sharing those experiences, so I simply just didn't. I ghosted YouTube for nine months, uh, but I'm back and I'm just ready to share it all, so let's get into it. Obviously, so much has happened since my last video because it's been nine months months so I'm going to try to go through them in chronological order so starting off in January our car broke uh, we were driving a Dodge minivan that was over 20 years old so it is not like I had high expectations for it I'm gonna stop the story right here for a second to let you guys witness this perfect example of the last few months of my life <laughs> When I showed my husband this video, he thought it was staged, but this genuinely happened and it's just comical because as I'm complaining about all the inconveniences in my life, oh, this happened. <laughs> Anyways, back to the van. We were not in the financial situation to buy a whole new vehicle, so when the car broke, we were really stressed. Winnie. Had to show you guys what she uh, figured out. She pushed this chair over here and tried to climb over the kitchen gate. A week after that happened, we got the flu. Actually, I tested positive for flu A and flu B, uh, which just so happened to align with Winnie's first birthday. It was quite anxiety inducing for us since she has Down syndrome. We were worried about how the sickness will affect her um, and the flu definitely took her out. As if things couldn't get worse, our roof started leaking around this time. In my last video in January, I mentioned that we had gotten a rug for our living room. And then shortly after that, if you keep up with my shorts, you will see that the rug is gone because our living room ceiling started to leak. We had to rearrange our furniture in order for our couch to not get ruined. And our living room has looked like that ever since, which really impacts filming as a stay-at-home mom since we spend most of our time at home. Uh, the roof outside needed to be repaired before it could be fixed inside and while it was worked on a handful of times, enough rain would cause the leak to start again. So for several months we waited to see if it would leak again and then the drywall started to cave in so it had to be repaired which was finally done a few weeks ago and I am devastated to report that at the time that I am recording this voiceover it has actually started to leak again and we actually were informed that we just need a new roof at this point so once march came around it was my middle daughter's birthday she turned three we were planning to take her to disney for her birthday but we were still carless at this time so we took her to get her ears pierced and a few other things like that and we just made the most of it at this point in the video we are running errands oh my goodness are you okay and Winnie got her hand stuck in the cart. But yeah, we had just left therapy and we decided to go to Target and Trader Joe's. 
Come April, something super exciting happened. I received the YouTube silver play button, which you received for having 100,000 subscribers. Um, it is so surreal to me. I cannot believe even one single person other than my husband would subscribe to me, let alone 100,000 people. I know you guys are pretty much all here for Winnie, but without me, she wouldn't be here, so give me some credit. A few weeks later, something else super exciting happened. I finally found us a new car. Well, not new. I got it on Facebook, but new to us. I spent over eight weeks researching and looking for the perfect vehicle, almost got scammed by a dealership. There were some days where my eyeballs were burning from staring at the computer screen for too long on the hunt, but we finally found the one. It checked all my boxes, my price range, mile range, year range. It even ended up being the exact make and model that I originally wanted before lowering my standards so much. Um, and bonus, it was the color I wanted too. So we're super happy with it and so happy that my patience paid off and I did not get stuck with a 72 month car payment. Come Mother's Day, Josh started to experience some discomfort in his belly, which resulted in an ER visit and they diagnosed him with appendicitis. An appendectomy surgery was not convenient with his work schedule, so he ended up signing out AMA and stuck it out for a few more days until returning back to the ER and getting his appendix removed. The doctor recommended he stay home for four to six weeks since he works a physically demanding job, but that wasn't going to work for us financially, so he took a week off before returning as if nothing happened. A few days later, he decided to get a haircut, which sounds like, okay, doesn't everyone get a haircut? But no, Josh does not. When we met, his hair was almost to his mid back. It was long our whole relationship until 2023 when he went from long hair to the skater boy length. But this time he went for an even more drastic cut. He now has a man bun. So it's shaved all around and then long on top. I love it. It was definitely a shock at first though. A few weeks later, the girls started sleeping in their room, which most parents are probably thinking, shouldn't they have already been doing that? Well, no, they were not. Uh, at first we co-slept with them and then the, the older two, and then eventually we brought a second mattress into our room for them to sleep on. So they were in our room, but not in our bed. And it just got to the point where we were ready for them to move out and finally made the move. I think this is the last uh, voiceover interruption I'm going to make to refer to the video. But if this isn't classic toddler parenthood, I don't know what is. So back to the girls sleeping in their room. They handled it well with a little reward system or bribery, depending on how you look at it. But it got the job done. Uh, simultaneously, the conversation about our plans for school with our oldest was following us everywhere since she was approaching kindergarten age. Uh, we were so torn between public school, private school, and homeschool. The conversation was following us everywhere we went. Uh, but as you can see here in the video, we decided to homeschool. So uh, June came around and my husband started taking a lot of extra shifts at work. Getting the new vehicle as well as some dental work were major financial setbacks and he just said yes to every extra shift he was offered. And as a result, he, was, he has still been working 50 to 60 hour weeks for the last few months. As a result, the one day we do get to spend together is usually cramming a week's worth of errands and fun all into one day. As you can probably imagine, this has led to burnout for both of us. Our oldest daughter, Lux, lost her first tooth in June. This was honestly one of my biggest fears since she was a newborn. I have a lot of anxiety surrounding teeth due to the amount of dental work I've had in my childhood and teeth just freak me out. Next up, I got pink eye, a sinus infection, and an ear infection all at once. We have been sick so many times in the last year, I've seriously lost count. Uh, 4th of July, Winnie took her first steps. She was almost 17 months old, and it was such an exciting milestone that we had been anxiously anticipating. When my oldest started taking steps, she just started walking basically the next day. But for Winnie, it has been a very slow process as she has to build up strength, balance, and endurance. 
but it has been so sweet watching her put in the work. In August, we did something we have never done since having kids. We went to a hotel for a night alone, just my husband and I, to celebrate our six-year wedding anniversary. We left the kids for 19 hours for the first time in our whole parenting career. After he's worked so much for the last few months, it was something our marriage really needed. And let me tell you, time goes so slow when there is not a kid to tend to. So that brings us basically to current day. We decided to homeschool Lux this year. We're going to reassess next year. We are at this point two months in and it is going well. I think that it was the right decision. After two months of only taking three to five steps at a time, last month Winnie started really picking up the steps and now she walks pretty much all the time. We have had a lot of setbacks this year, but we are hopeful that the future holds peace and relief. If you've made it this far, I am so impressed that anyone has wanted to listen to me ramble for over 10 minutes long. <laughs> so thank you so much for that. Now that my nine month YouTube fast has been broken with this video, I hope it will be easier to get back into posting and hopefully posting more frequently. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to leave a question below or on my Instagram for the next video, which is going to be a Q&A, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.